WCIA 3 News at 10. Somebody obviously doesn't have any respect for the country or the flag in itself. This veteran was disappointed and stunned to see the American flag flying upside down outside a U of I fraternity house. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Jessica's off tonight. The fraternity says somebody has been sneaking onto their property and flipping over the flag in the middle of the night. Whoever's doing it hasn't been caught. WCI 3's Jennifer Jensen's in the newsroom tonight. So Jennifer, this is not the first time it's happened. Paul, it's not. It happened a couple times this week. The fraternity members will turn the flag right side up, only for it to be repeatedly flipped upside down. For many veterans like Javon Hall, the American flag is a revered symbol of the country they risked their lives to serve. When he saw the flag turned upside down outside the U of I Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity house, he questioned why. The flag upside down is a sign of distress. It's also a form of desecration. So it kind of hurt me that you know, somebody would do that. He contacted WCIA to find out what was behind this. So I talked to the house director to get some answers. Here just uh, this past week, someone's been coming around, taking and turning our flag upside down and putting it back up again. This was just as distressing for Brian Schnitz. He's also a veteran who served in the U.S. Marine Corps. I was pissed being a veteran myself. And a flag upside down in the military says you're under duress. I'd send for help. And I told the president that. He said, okay, we, we need to get that fixed, which we did. They raised it right side up, but the next night it was turned back upside down. Well, you don't condone that. It's very disrespectful to the gentleman here at this house who, who put this flag up and want to keep it up. Uh, is disrespect to this country and anybody who's served the country representing this flag. While it may be a joke to whoever is doing this, Hall says it's not to be taken lightly. Well, I know a lot of veterans, not just me, also don't appreciate it and they're also you know really hurt by the fact that somebody would do that just for for fun or however they are doing it for other than trespassing on property turning the flag upside down is not illegal so the house has not reported this to police in the newsroom i'm jennifer jensen wcia3 your local news leader jennifer is there any other way they're going to try to stop it from happening again Paul, well, there's really not. They haven't uh, thought about installing security cameras. They can be expensive. So at this point, it's just a waiting game and hoping that this will not happen again. Well, hopefully it does stop. Jennifer, thanks. We have new details tonight about a murder in Champaign. The coroner says Tanisha Jenkins was smothered to death. Antoine Craig was in court today. He is now charged with her murder. Tonight, family and friends gathered for a vigil at the New Hope Church of God. They read poems, sang, and prayed together. People that remember her as a mentor for young girls and a loving family member. She was like the light of our family, and, uh, you know, she was unique and very special in her own way. She literally walked into the room, and whether you were a stranger or somebody that she's known for forever, she always made you feel really loved. Tanisha was a big inspiration to a lot of the people around here, even young ladies. Craig would face life in prison if convicted of murder and doing it in an excessively brutal and heinous way. A second man's been arrested for murder in Champaign. Ricky Green was killed in March 2018. Michael Chatham was arrested earlier this month for the murder. Police arrested Michael Simmons today for murder, too. Police also arrested a man for shooting that for a shooting that hurt three people last year. Gregory Sappington is facing charges for aggravated battery with a firearm and armed robbery. Police say he shot at a car near State Street and Bradley Avenue in November. Three people were taken to the hospital for gunshot wounds. They were treated and released. A state senator from Champaign wants parents to be able to opt their kids out of active shooter drills at school. Senator Scott Bennett's opinions on this matter changed. He would voted for these drills to be required, but then changed his mind after seeing data that says the drills could be traumatic to kids. Some of the data coming out suggests that uh, kids aren't necessarily any safer because of these drills, but they are uh, often producing some trauma or psych psych uh, psychological effects. Uh, we want to go ahead and explore that. We want to uh, try to standardize how people do the drills in the different districts and also let parents have the option to opt out if they don't feel their kids should be part of it. Bennett said he still plans to tweak the bill and will consult the State Board of Education. The bill did clear committee. A student was taken to the hospital after a hit and run outside a school. Champaign police say a Stratton Elementary student was walking on Randolph near the school when they were hit. The vehicle drove away. The student wasn't seriously hurt. They're asking anyone with surveillance from that area to call police. 
Tonight was the celebration of life for a Watsika High School student. Sophomore Bryce Denoyer died last week from head injuries after a car crash. His classmates are raising money for his family by selling shirts that bear the number from his football jersey with the phrase, the away jersey always comes home. Law enforcement in Macon County is trying to get drunk drivers off the streets. They're implementing a no-refusal program for driving under the influence. It's for a Class 2 felony or higher aggravated DUI offense. They will be using electronic an electronic warrant system that allows them to more quickly and efficiently get a search warrant to get evidence from the offender. The warrant allows blood draws from drivers who refuse to take a breathalyzer or give blood samples after they've been arrested for a DUI. In the past, it was simply an option. Now it is, we are going to do this every time that there's a DUI offense, a Class 2 felony or higher, we're going to do it. Decatur Police hope this will decrease the number of DUI offenses and hold those who do choose to drive impaired accountable. A downtown Springfield building is blocked off after bricks started falling from it. Happened near Broadway and Adams Streets. The Public Works Department says people in the area called them about the bricks crashing onto the structures like benches nearby. The building was inspected. It was deemed unsafe. No one was allowed to be inside anyway because of leaks found a year ago. No one was hurt by the bricks falling, but a car was being looked at for damage. Construction crews in Shelbyville are filling in old coal storage bins in preparation for a downtown sidewalk renovation. The bins are underneath the sidewalk but have been empty recently. One needed to be filled in immediately following approval of the work. The city says it showed an increased risk of collapsing with extra weight. Full sidewalk renovation will begin in spring. The city hopes to have it done before the end of the year. A century-old building that's barely standing may have its fate decided soon. Shelbyville is putting a referendum on the Illinois primary ballot about whether to renovate the Chautauqua building or tear it down. Each option comes with an estimated cost. The poll isn't legally binding, but the city says it will help guide them to what people really want to happen. Shelbyville's mayor says he could see it still being useful. I think it could be an asset for the city that we would need to have shows and events and things there and, and with the lake and being a tourist community, I think that we uh, could use such facility. But then the flip side is, is will that facility also be the one that would be best suited for that? The city says the money for either option will come from the budget. It won't raise taxes. The vote is only available to people who live in Shelbyville. New at 10, one bridge in Villa Grove will soon be replaced. Construction will start on the Sycamore Street Bridge on Monday, March 9th. Hundreds of people drive across the 65-year-old bridge every day and it's starting to show. The bridge will be removed in stages so there can still be two-way traffic. The new bridge will have concrete driving lanes and a multi-use path. Major construction should be done by the end of the year. Minor work could last until June 2021. Sewer bills in Tilton may be going up, but officials say the results will be worth it. The village is preparing for a $22 million upgrade. They plan to rebuild a wastewater treatment plant, seal leaky manholes, and fix underground pipes. The project is so large, it will take a loan from the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. If the state gives the okay soon, Tilton will only have to repay half the loan. Mayor David Phillips says it's worth it. It's been terrible. We've had to clean people's basements, and clean back sanitary sewer in basements, so it has to be cleaned up. So, and we've been paying to do that all the time. The project will result in bills increasing. Officials held a public hearing about the plan today. If you'd still like to weigh in, you have 10 days to send a written comment to the village or IEPA. Hot dogs are a staple at the ballpark, but one is letting you bring your own pooch, too. 17 years is a long time to work somewhere, but one man is saying goodbye. And the Illini, we're looking for an easy win against Northwestern tonight. We'll tell you what happened and take you there live. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Storage 309 in Champaign. Gary, I've improved the Subaru Outback with the look behind her. The what? To use it while backing up to keep from hitting anything. Kelly, the Outback already has that. Really? It's the rear vision camera, part of Subaru's all-around awareness technology. That must be one reason why so many Outbacks are still driving today. One of many. You just stuck a camcorder over the actual rear view camera. How'd you get that on there? Glue stick. Visit Subaru of Champaign County today. A, a dealership built around you. Your life is on the go. <laughs> I found the perfect card. If you have hearing loss, you can still enjoy the convenience of your cell phone with a cell phone amplifier, free to all qualified Illinois residents from ITAC. I'll pick some up on the way. 
This amplifier works with any Bluetooth cell phone or smartphone. Secure, easy, free, stay connected on the go. Learn more about this free program at itacty.org. Keep Illinois connected. Other amplified and captioned phones available. Here's to the hardest working people in America. The ones who break a sweat before the break of dawn. The ones who wear rugged right on their sleeves. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we stand behind you with genuine value on the best, most trusted workwear brands. Like women's Carhartt Force quarter zip shirts, only $24.99. Men's work and sport carpenter jeans are $24.99. And men's Dickies heavyweight pocket tees, only $11.99. Introducing the new Double and Shake $4 special from Steak and Shake. Get an original double steak burger and cheese and a classic milkshake for just four bucks. And add fries for just a dollar more. Double and Shake $4 special, only at Steak and Shake. B&B Construction in Tilton. We're your one-stop shop for all construction, roofing, siding, concrete, and gutter needs. Stop into our showroom to see what we can do for you with B&B Construction in Tilton. Ruby's Rescue introduces us to Abe looking for his forever family. And Chef Ryan Rogers shares a dish perfect for Lent season. Set your DVR for four. The most accurate forecast with weather alerts and interactive radar. The WCIA3 weather app. Always on. Download it today. Full Court Friday. Covering high school basketball. With highlights of all the action. Join our team for Full Court Friday. Friday night at 10 on WCIA 3. Sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance and Illinois State University. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Wright's Furniture and Flooring. Live from your local news leader, Jessica Coons, Paul Cicchini, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty and Brett Barron's on sports. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 10. A longtime village leader celebrated his retirement today, surrounded by family, friends, and even a tribute from a state leader. Dick Helton served as the Savoy Village Manager for 17 years. During that time, he worked with the village during pivotal times of economic development, urbanization, and population growth. He says he's honored to have been an integral part of Savoy's recent history. It's just the community and being able to see the things that we've been able to accomplish as a, as a team with the board. Um, it's just been a fantastic ride. The people that are here, it's a great community, laid back. Levi Copeman, the assistant village manager, will be taking over Helton's position. All right, Jack, really just a nice day. You know, we had all peaks of sunshine here and there, which was nice to see, but uh, a little chilly at times with the clouds. and then You hardly noticed, there. man. I mean, I know. The sun out. I know. Um, we're going to probably see kind of similar conditions tomorrow, maybe a little bit more cloud cover, but over the weekend, it's going to be, you know, so, so, so much better. So 37 today, right around our average of 42, a little bit shy of that. However, we are calling for big uh, temperature warm-ups to occur by the weekend and early next week with more rain, too. Keep up to date with CI Living CI On The Go app. You can watch segments about cooking, community events, contests, and more. And best of all, it's free. It's the CI On The Go app from CI Living and WCIA 30. Sports on WCIA 3 is brought to you by PNP Heating and Cooling. You gotta feel it to believe it. Get extreme internet starting at $19.99 a month for one year. With fantastic speeds from 60 minutes up to 1 gig. Dynamic streaming video. So real, you can feel it. Amplified in-home Wi-Fi. And all the power you need to power it all. Get extreme internet starting at $19.99 a month for one year. Call 844-EXTREME2. At Papa Murphy's, it's time to saddle up, giddy up, and eat up. Because right now, you can get a large cowboy pizza for just $12. Yeehaw! We make it, you bake it. Papa Murphy's. In 2016, we did something so drastic, we had to wait four years to try it again. It's the leap year sale at Furniture Row, and everything is on sale. Shop today and find amazing deals on sofas and sectionals, deep discounts on dining sets, tables, and chairs, incredible bargains on king, queen, and kids' bedroom sets, and supercharge your sleep life with a new mattress. Plus, get exclusive four-year no-interest financing. That's no interest until next leap year. But hurry, the leap year sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. 
the most accurate forecast with weather alerts and interactive radar. Live streaming on 3 News Now. The WCIA 3 Weather App. Always on. Download it today. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Ryan Dallas Real Estate. Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Durfin. Most of our months so far for the uh, winter of 2019 and 2020, they've been below average with the amount of snow. But then for February, we're above average. 6.5 inches is what we've seen so far, bringing our total up for the season to 15.7 inches. So we'll go from snow to golf, because why not? We've got a beautiful forecast for Sunday. And so even though we're going to probably have some fairways there that are not going to be in the best shape, they might be uh, definitely pretty squishy. I do think, though, that if you've got the opportunity, definitely should do it. If I could, I definitely would be out there. We've got temperatures that'll be in the upper 50s, a little bit breezy at times, and clouds are on the increase, but again, it's uh, upper 50s at the end of February, or technically that would be yeah, early March, and uh, we've got, uh, you know, nice conditions to talk about. I would definitely uh, pull the set of clubs out if you can. Now, as we go into the uh, start of next work week, temperatures remain mild, and in fact, it will be warmer than the next few days. The thing is, though, it'll come with rain chances. So most of these days, Monday, Tuesday, as well as Wednesday, even though they have nice temperatures, there will be rain chances, and so we'll talk about that here in just a moment. First off, though, to uh, Storm Tracker right now, we have uh, had cloud cover at times, as well as a few flurries as well. Those are all diving down to the south. A lot of those are now south of I-7. And you notice now that we've got more clear skies across the viewing area, too. So we've had a clearing trend overnight tonight. However, off to our northwest, there are some clouds as well as more flurries moving through parts of uh, southern Minnesota, going back into the Dakotas and Nebraska. Those clouds and a few of those flurries will track into our area for tomorrow. So we're going to call tomorrow technically partly cloudy, and there will be a chance for a few flurries. Temperatures tonight, though, because our skies are clearing out, they should begin to fall pretty quickly here. It's 24 in Watsika right now. It's still holding on to 28 in Champaign, and we have 36 in Effingham. But overnight tonight, thanks to clear skies and winds, which are now more out of the northwest, those should begin to fall. And so we should have lows dropping down into the low 20s overnight tonight. The winds aren't as strong as where they were uh, earlier this afternoon, but they'll still be noticeable again for the day tomorrow. So overnight tonight, we'll drop down to a low of 22 with winds out of the northwest at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. For the bus stop tomorrow, the kids will have to definitely bundle up as temperatures will be in the lower 20s in the morning. And then by the afternoon, we'll likely have temperatures, unfortunately, stuck in the low 30s, which would be about 10 degrees colder than normal with a few extra flurries in the area. So we'll go with a high of 32. Those northwest winds keep things pretty chilly, up to around 20 miles per hour. And again, there are a few flurries out there. But again, the weekend is looking good. Saturday, looking nice and sunny with temperatures near normal. We should be in the low 40s, so we're close to that. But then Sunday, the crown jewel of the forecast, 57 with clouds on the increase. And like we've been talking about here, apparently we're showing this graphic again. Uh, we do have uh, mild temperatures for next week. This is what I wanted to show, though, the rain showers. We have rain showers that will come in as early as Sunday night. They will then be in the area for us on Monday, tapering off into Tuesday morning before they come back at night, Tuesday night, and into Wednesday. So with a few days here of rain chances, this could add up to being a few inches. Once we're done with uh, Wednesday's rain, we should be pretty dry at that point. But like I said, it could add up to being quite a bit. So as you look at the uh, rainfall forecast, this is not snow, but the rainfall forecast, we can see some spots closer to I-70 at about one to two inches. So again, this is going to be kind of a uh, wet way to start off the month of March with all these rain chances here. So here's your seven day. We've got uh, a chilly day tomorrow. If the sun comes out for Saturday, a nice day on Sunday, and then we stay mild in early next week with the rain chances there. He just wanted to remind people it's going to warm up. Yeah, I did. I guess I just want to make sure that I do have good news, even though we are still calling for kind of chilly conditions tomorrow. But uh, I try to bring good news here. Yeah, you do every yeah. once in a while. Every, every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, thanks. <laughs> All right, soon man's best friend and America's favorite pastime will get to meet, where you can take your dog to the ballpark. Plus, two high school girls basketball teams left earlier today to face each other for the sectional title. We'll tell you who's moving on. Today on The Morning Show, we told you what doctors say should be done to reduce the risk of heart disease. And tomorrow, film critics Chuck and Pam will review The Invisible Man and The Last Thing He Wanted. Find WCIA3 closings on WCIA3 and X49 online at WCIA.com or on your smartphone with the WCIA3 News or Weather app. WCIA3 Closings, your school and business closings headquarters. Sponsored by Lands Inc. The WCIA3 Weather app. Always on. Download it today. 
Tatman's Towing is expanding its services in the Champaign-Urbana area. Tatman's has immediate openings for towing and service operators to perform towing, battery jumps, tire changes, lockout, and other emergency road services. Apply at Tatman's Towing, 810 East Perkins Road, Urbana. Tax time blowout at American Freight. Take it home today for $50 and no payments for 60 days. Mattress sets from $49 each piece. Memory foam mattress sets from $119 each piece. Three-piece bedrooms from $198. Reclining furniture from $198. Sofas from $198. And sectionals from $298. Free layaway until tax time or longer if needed. Same-day delivery ends March 31st. Convenient locations in Champaign and Decatur. I wanted to find the best SUV for winter, something I can totally rely on. Honda had a lot of smart choices. Safety shouldn't be optional, so I was glad to learn that Honda Sensing is standard. Everyone has all-wheel drive, but Honda's intelligent traction control is even better. And it's a Honda, so I know it's dependable. It's your last chance to save on remaining 2019 CRVs, only $2.59 a month. Smart way to go. Visit your Central Illinois Honda dealers today. Illinois is full of winners. We rise up early. We stay up late. We help. We heal. We hope. In Illinois, we take a shot. We step up to the plate. We put it all on the line. We teach. We grow. We work. In Illinois, we don't just dream. We make it happen. Because that's what winners do. And Illinois is full of winners. Have you ever seen that little dangling rope that hangs from your garage door? Well, some of you may not know what this is, but let's say this winter you get into a situation where there's an ice storm that causes you to lose power and your car is stuck in your garage. What you can do is you can pull this handle to manually release your garage door, allowing you to then open up your garage manually in case you don't have any power. This WCIA 3 winter weather tip is sponsored by Edelman Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Tatman's knows towing and so much more. A dead vehicle battery can be a stressful situation. Practice these three parking lot safety tips to prevent the situation from getting dangerous. Call Tatman's Towing to get a jump start back into your day. And visit our website for more safety tips. The news continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. The Illini baseball team is opening up the field to a new group of fans, dogs. The Illini will host Chicago State next Tuesday, and when they do, the team will introduce a pet-friendly promotion. All dogs, along with their owner, presumably, will get in free. It'll be dog days every Tuesday at Illinois Field during the 2020 season. I like it. How can you not? <laughs> it's a time the dogs running out on the field. Yeah, that costs you problems. Did you get a hot dog for your dog? Or is that uh, that'd be great, too. We'll see. Salting. I don't know. All right, it's Illinois basketball everybody. up in Evanston tonight. Play Northwestern as we take a live look at Welsh Ryan Arena. Empty now, but there was a lot of orange in there earlier. Marley Weirdo reports. We got highlights after the break. Sports on WCIA 3 is brought to you by PNP Heating and Cooling. Schnucks Rewards app has exclusive deals just for you on the groceries you buy the most. Get the app that gets you. The Schnucks Rewards app puts hundreds of exclusive new coupons in your hand each week. Get the app that gets you. Tomorrow on CI Living, Ruby's Rescue introduces us to Abe looking for his forever family. And Chef Ryan Rogers shares a dish perfect for Lent season. Set your DVR for four. Watch Capital Connection Sunday mornings at 1030 on WCIA 3. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Evergreen Place Assisted Living Champagne. 
from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It is a take care of business win and move on game for Illinois tonight at Northwestern. The Wildcats are simply not good, just 1-15 in, in Big Ten play. But they did play the Illini to a four-point loss last month in Champaign. Let's go to Welsh Ryan in Evanston. The Illini looking for their fifth conference road win. That would tie them for best in the league. And Kofi Coburn makes his presence known early with the dunk. Then a put back off an Andres Feliz miss. Things going well for him. 10 points, 7 rebounds just in the first half alone. Northwestern trying to keep it close, and they do. A.J. Turner for three. It was an 11-8 game, but Iowa in transition is tough to guard. We've seen this all year long. The behind-the-back pass to himself. That is pretty, and Illinois still up. Then another dunk from Coburn. He extends his Illinois freshman double-double record, his 12th of the season. Alan Griffin, just the start in the first half for him, puts Illinois up 29-19. More to come from Griffin in a moment, but Io closes the first half with a three. 13 points in the first 20 minutes for him, meaning Io and Kofi combined for 23 of the team's 34 first-half points. But the second half straight belongs to Alan Griffin. He couldn't miss at one point. Ends up going 9 for 11 from the field. The alley-oop dunk with some hops from the Illinois sophomore. Then another three, career high 24 points for him. This one, the dagger to put the Illini up 14, and they win at 74-66 the final as Illinois gets its Big Ten leading fifth road win, improving to 19-9 overall and 11-6 and in the conference. Let's head right back out to Evanston where WCI3's Marley Weirda stands by live, and what a night for Allen. Yeah, Brett, and he said that the secret to his hot streak tonight was his pregame meal. He ate chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese, and he says he's going to stick to that meal from now on because clearly it worked. But what a game for the record books for Alan Griffin, a career-high 24 points. He also controlled the game on both sides of the ball with seven rebounds. Brad Underwood says it's a testament to his maturity and being able to perform now in some of these big moments. He helped the Illini reach a winning Big Ten record the first time they've been able to do that in a decade. Can't get too high in the middle of the game. You know, I celebrated, but like I was, in my mind, I was still focused and ready to get stops and head back on the other end. I'm approached to every game with the same mindset like this. We see that all the time in practice, and we forget, you know, Allen's a sophomore and been in those moments a lot. That's growth. And to be able to ride that hot hand, uh, that feeling, that adrenaline, I expected it from, from a while now. For a while now, um, I really love Allen. I played with him back in high school. Played against him. I knew what kind of player he is, and I always try to tell him in practice, "Just be the kind of player that you know you are." And what a game for Kofi Coburn as well. He earned his 12th double-double of the season. So the Illini certainly putting a lot of pieces together and being able to get these big wins on the road. Brett. Well, they all is quiet there now, but there was seemed to be on TV at least a lot of orange. What was your take about how many Illini fans were there tonight? Yeah, Brett, talking to some of the players after the game, they actually said that today felt like a home game just because of how many fans were in the stands towards the end of the game. You could hear them starting the ILL, I and I chant. So certainly the players were able to fuel off of that momentum. They'll be back at home, actually at home, even though today did feel like a home game. They'll be back at the State Farm Center on Sunday against Indiana. But for now, reporting live in Evanston for your Line Nation, Marley Weirda, WCIA. Three sports. All right, Marley, thanks. We we'll look forward to that game on Sunday. The lone two Class 3A girls basketball teams in our area left are Lanfear and Rochester. They square off tonight for the sectional title in Champaign. Slow start for both teams. Kelsey Tender gets the scoring started, but it takes three plus minutes into the first quarter to do it, and the Lions straight take off from there. Cheyenne Trotter connects. Then Lazaria Williams with the runner. She had a game high 12 points. Serenity Price adds a three a little later. 11-0 run fuels Lanfear to the 51-32 win. They'll face Highland in the UIS Super on Monday. Many people thought 11 wins, Paul, was the key in the Big Ten for Illinois to feel good about an NCAA tournament berth. They are at that now. I think Illini fans can maybe breathe a little bit that they're going to make the tournament this year, regardless of what happens in the final three games. Yeah, I think the Illini are feeling pretty good, too. No doubt. All right, Brent, thanks. We'll be right back.
WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Stout's Building Services. Planning your next big event? From on-site consultation to professional setup and operation, MMS Rentals and Production has the technical expertise and industry experience to help you find exactly what you need. MMS Rentals, give your event life. Treat yourself to something relaxing, something comfortable, something stylish, like a comfy swivel recliner from Beck's Furniture in Urbana. Many styles and colors are available. The best service, a huge selection, and free delivery at Beck's Country Shop. This is a story of the American dream. It starts here, in a middle-class neighborhood with a middle-class kid named Mike. When his father died, his mother went to work and became the breadwinner. She instilled in Mike a belief in hard work and a drive to build a better life. So he started a company from scratch with an idea and endless hours. Today, that makes him the only Democrat in the race who's created 20,000 jobs. He's the only Democrat who's run the largest and most diverse city in America, rebuilding after 9-11, creating over 400 150,000 jobs and expanding health care coverage to 700,000 people. The only Democrat who's built a grassroots movement to combat gun violence. And he's a leader combating climate change. The only Democrat who's never taken a penny from special interests. Now Mike is running to deliver on the American dream for everyone with common sense solutions and the ability to get it done. Because Mike Bloomberg is the only Democrat who can take on Trump. And Trump knows it. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. Keep up to date with CI Living CI On The Go app. You can watch segments about cooking, community events, contests, and more. And best of all, it's free. It's the CI On The Go app from CI Living and WCIA 30. Don't let your guests suffer through another boring party or event. MMS Rentals has the audio, lighting, and staging equipment you need to bring life to your event. We offer professional setup and operation, delivery, or pickup. MMS Rentals. Give your event life. The most accurate forecast with weather alerts and interactive radar. The WCIA3 Weather App. Always on. Download it today. Clearing sky is tonight and then a few flurries for the day tomorrow. We'll have more sunshine though for Saturday. It's much warmer by Sunday and then rain showers are coming in by Sunday night. We'll likely have those continue for Monday into Tuesday morning with a bit of a break before they come back Tuesday night and into Wednesday. In terms of the uh, grand total for the amount of rain that we could see, it could be over an inch in some spots. So we go from uh, talking about snow from a couple days ago and some chilly conditions to very much spring-like conditions by the time we uh, go to the beginning of March. There's a baseball game that's happening on Tuesday. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I love that. <laughs> All right, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.